Got two new lures we're gonna try today. A Kato Warrior Slow Jig, which is a metal jig, and then it leads down to a little squid skirt, and that's got the hooks in it. And then the other one is this uh, little T-Force 12 gram jig. I haven't really used anything like either of these before to catch flathead, so I'll be very interested to see how they go. First gonna try the little T-Force jig. I can get it open. All right, there we go. Now, to be honest, I'm really not quite sure how to rig this thing. I thinking I tie into the split ring at the top, but given I've never used one of these before, I'm not entirely sure. I'll have a go this way. There it is. Well, it casts like a bullet. <laughs> Definitely gonna be able to cover some ground with this. Oh, yep, oh, dropped him. All right, well, we know it works. <laughs> I didn't have a whole lot of confidence in this little thing. It, it looked a bit odd. <laughs> well, that's a very good sign. Yep, got him. <laughs> All right, not a very big one, but only the third cast, so pretty happy with that. Not the smallest one ever. All right, get a quick measure, see how big he is. I reckon he's probably about 29 or so. And he is, uh, yeah, exactly 29. There you go, just a little guy. All right, let's get him back. And off he goes. All right, I'm quite happy with that. That's uh, it's actually a fun little lure to work as well. It's cast a mile, and you kind of just work it much the same as you work uh, soft plastic. See if we can do that again. Yep. <laughs> Next cast. Oh, that's a great little lure. Yeah, I'm really pleased with this little lure. Geez, it casts a mile, it's easy to work. Yeah, yeah, really pleased with this little lure. Probably just another little fish, but... Oh, he's pulling a bit harder. What do we got here? Oh, it's a better fish. Probably a little bit bigger than the last. Oh wow, both hooks got in that time, all right. Oh, he's fired up. And there he is. Let's get him back. Whoa, look at him go. All right. That was quite a success. Maybe we'll swap over to the other one while we're hot. The Warrior Slow Jig. This is a much heavier 20 grams. The Little one I was using is only seven grams, so probably the little one uh, I expect to have a little bit better action, but this has got a lot going on. All right, have a look at this thing. There's a lot going on there. I reckon that'd be right at home at the Sydney Mardi Gras. Maybe somebody wearing it as a set of earrings. All right. <laughs> First cast.
Gotta show you this thing in the water. This is, <laughs> oh, it's something else. Yep. <laughs> oh, he dropped it. Oh, that was a good fish too. Oh, see if he's got anybody following him. Yep, got him. All right. Oh, and he's off. Bummer. Ugh. Uh. Uh. I cannot hook the fish up with this thing. This is just happening over and over. They're missing the hooks. That's a fish. Is it going to stay on? Yep, so far. Oh, it's just a little one, but boy, finally got the hooks into him. <laughs> oh boy, that took a while. Yeah, we finally got one on the Mardi Gras lure. I was getting lots of hits, but I, I just couldn't hook any fish up. And I reckon there's a lot of lure there to hit without getting the hooks. You can hit anywhere up here or the head of this. And unless they grab down here, they're not gonna hook up. So I, I don't really like that design. I, I, I don't think that's, that's ideal and it's caused a real problem with hooking a fish with this one. See if we can get another one. So you get a couple hits in quick succession there, so there might be a few down there. Have a little one. Don't let me down, down, down. Don't let me down, don't let me down, down, down. Oh, oh you're down. kidding. <laughs> oh, look at that. How about that? Looks like he's got a hat on. Looks like he's ready for the Mardi Gras. Looks good on you, buddy. Look at that little guy. Alright, let's get him back. And off he goes. Yep. That's a better fish. Just a little one. Just another little one. Now, I'll just demonstrate how I'm casting and retrieving both of these lures I've used today. All I do is just throw it out as far as I can. I watch the line sink in the water until it's hit the bottom and when it hits the bottom I'll see a little belly of slack in the line. Then I give it a couple little tugs up, I reel in the slack 
and then I watch the line cut through the water towards me until I get a little belly in the line again. Then I know it's on the bottom. I will vary the amount of time it's on the bottom. Sometimes I'll immediately pull it back up, give it a little tug. Sometimes I'll leave it for as long as five seconds. And I will also vary the retrieve, how high I lift the rod tip or how many little tugs I do just to keep changing the action to see what they like and give them something different to look at. Well, I'd say that was another successful day on the water. We got fish on both of the lures we brought with us today. And this little guy, this little T4 Silver Laser, this T4 Silver Laser in 12 grams, that was definitely the surprise of the day. That is such a great little lure. It casts a mile, the action in the water is just phenomenal. You just give it a little twitch, kind of like you would a soft plastic, and it floats and flutters and shines and Oh, just I can't say enough good things about this little lure and this is something that I'm going to be adding to my tackle box and probably will never leave. This other lure, there's a heck of a lot going on on this Mardi Gras looking crazy purple shiny multi-piece. But the problem was the fish were hitting it but not getting the hooks and when you look at this lure th there's a lot to hit without getting the hooks. And I think that is a real problem, particularly with this kind of fishing. I mean, it was clear that the action was working, the fish were hitting it, but they just weren't hooking up.